Hi artists, I'm Miss Lanehart, your art teacher. We've been practicing drawing from observation. So far, we've drawn leaves, small toys, and last time we drew rocks. Today we're going to practice drawing from observation by drawing food and what's inside of food. So to set up for drawing today, you're going to need to collect some kind of food. I recommend a fruit or a vegetable because they have really interesting things inside. But you could also draw a bag of fruit snacks or some popcorn or your sandwich. You'll also need your sketchbook or a piece of paper. Open it up to the next open page and a pencil. When we start our drawing from observations, we know that the first step is to observe. Look closely. We can observe with more than just our eyes. I'm going to observe right now with my fingers. I'm going to feel it. Oh, it feels so smooth. We can even observe with our nose. Mmm, <laughs> that apple smells yummy. I'm going to set this apple down in a position that's easy to look at it and draw. I'm going to really observe it with my eyes. Dasa, Yatim, what do you see? Well, I would have thought that an apple is round, right? A circle, but actually this apple has its own special shape. And I noticed that it has a stem and it has some lines and interesting patterns on it. Oh, and a sticker. Okay, now I'm going to plan where to start. Second step is to plan. I think I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw around this side first. So I'm going to practice that in the air. Oh, that's a really nice curve going around there. Okay. Could I make my starting point right here? And now it's time to draw with my pencil. Around that curve, slow motion. Coming down here, over to this point, and observe again. It starts coming up now, and it's going to have another curve to go around. So let's practice that in the air. I felt it first with my finger in the air. I'm ready to draw. So here I go. there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I really was looking, wasn't I? I think the next thing I'm going to draw, hmm, my plan is to next draw the stem. And it doesn't start here. It's, it's in a little ways, right about here. Did you see that? You can see the apple on the other side of it. Okay, so what is the shape of that little stem? I'm going to try practice it in the air first. It goes up and around and down. Here I go. Now I'm going to draw it with my pencil up and around and down. Okay. Now my next plan is to draw this sort of hole that I see the stem in. It's a little bit of a line right around the stem. Kind of like that. And I think I'm going to do more details on the stem. It's almost like it's got a circle on top. And the stem is pretty dark, so I'm going to just darken it in. And that hole's pretty dark around it, too, so I'm going to add a little dark. Hmm, let's see. I think I will, my next plan is to draw this sticker here, and it's about right here on the apple. Let's practice it in the air. It's like an oval, isn't it? A little extra bump on that side. Okay, here I go. Oval, little extra bump. There's some letters and numbers on it too that I might add in a minute. Or maybe I'll just make little marks that sort of look like letters. Now I think I'm going to add some of these cool lines and patterns that I see on the outside of the apple. I see one big line that starts here by the stem and goes over to the edge of the apple. So I've got that one. I see another one that goes whoop, over to the edge this way. Whoop. And then I see these little red shapes and kind of lines coming out this way. 
And maybe I'll draw this, the shape of this part of the pattern that's on there. And there's sort of some lines on that. Look carefully, you can see which way the lines are going. It's almost like they start where the stem is and they go out from there. Disappear off the edge of the apple. I might just do a little, little coloring in, a little shading in with my, my pencil. Because part of this apple, the red part, looks pretty dark. So I think I'll just shade that in with my pencil. So I need a little patch over here. That was fun. Now, after you've drawn your food, it's time to look inside of it. And we're going to draw what we see inside. Okay, I've got to go get a knife. If you need a knife to see what's inside of the food you drew, be sure to ask a grown up. I just cut my apple open. And I think that I'm going to draw a picture of this part of it. So you can do a second drawing of what was inside your food. Follow the drawing cycle. That's really fun to see what's inside an apple. What kind of food are you going to draw? Draw it once from the outside and then once to show what's inside. Have fun! Now it's your turn to draw. Go find a piece of food and bring it back and get set up for drawing. You can always go back and watch the video again to remember the steps for our drawing today. Good job, artists. Gunish Jish for drawing with me today. This week, you could even draw one thing from your lunch every day in your sketchbook. Artists, this month, it's been really fun working on drawing from observation with you and seeing what you can do. Remember, this is your very own sketchbook that you can keep and practice drawing in all year long. Happy drawing! <laughs>